Welcome to my store. If you're having trouble, this works pretty good. Okay, that's not working that good. So then what you do is you take the back of your knife and you just shave it off. Okay? Do it over the fish tank so you make a mess and uh, don't use the front of your knife, don't use anything rough because you don't want to scrape the plastic because if you scrape the plastic, then the next time it's going to be harder to clean. So this will take all the uh, old algae off. Now, is there anything in the salt water tank that we're going to do that's going to sort of control that algae? From no. No. You're going to have more algae in salt water than you ever will in fresh water. Cool. Oh yeah. Good and to you get more different colors too. Good to know. <laughs> like fresh water, you know, you can get a little bit of hair algae, you can get a little bit of uh, black algae and green algae. And then you might get an algae bloom where you got the algae floating through the water. Mm -hmm. But in salt water, you got hair algae that's hard, you got hair algae that's soft. You got blue, blue, green, black, red, cyanobacteria, you got coralline algae that you like, and it doesn't look much different until you touch it than some of the algae you don't like. Basically, if algae is on and it's really hard and firm, then it's probably one of the good kind, and it won't take over your tank. Then we got macro algae, some of which are extremely prolific and they grow very quickly. We actually use them to export nutrients. See, the algae grows, uses stuff out of the tank for fertilizer, and then when we throw the algae out, that has then taken that out of the tank. One of the better ones is uh, called Ketomorph. I think it's Ketomorph gracilis, sometimes called spaghetti algae, and it looks kind of like steel wool pet, all twisty and uh, stringy. Even tangs and fox faces don't seem to eat it. And if you have Calerpa, which is a faster growing algae, they will eat it. Well, I had a tank that was absolutely full of it. The customer bought one naso tank and there was no algae in the tank the next week. It ate all of it. But that's a plant that looks more like a, a vine. Okay? It's got these leaves or grapes or uh, fern-like leaves, stuff like that. And, uh, it grows really quickly. It's actually an invasive plant in uh, oceans uh, around the world where people have brought it from other places and uh, it's causing a lot of trouble in some countries. California, I think, has a ban on it. But the ketomorph, it's a nice algae. It doesn't do that. It grows a lot slower. Plus, some people feel that the um, the Calerpa algae actually give off a toxin which hurts your corals. So if it touches them, it can grow over your coral, shade the light. If it's in the water, some people feel that uh, it actually gives off a toxin that will cause your corals not to thrive. But the ketomorph algae, its claim to fame is that people don't think it does. Now, I don't know. See, I've had ketomorph algae in... Uh, tanks and I've had the colorprint tanks and I haven't all do good either way. I find as long as you feed them good, have lots of water movement, and don't let the uh, colorpa shade it, you're okay. So we're getting down near the bottom, so we're just taking the gravel cleaner and siphoning the last little bit of uh, debris that's light enough to float. And another way to get the last of the gravel, you just suck it all up in the tube. Put it all in the tube there. And then you hold your fingers across the end of the tube so that you can then pick it out. Okay.
Now, you're not going for perfection here. Basically, we're trying to get the majority of the old water out, but if a little bit is left in, it doesn't matter. It'll actually help your filter cycle a wee bit. Because what we're going to be doing is filling this tank up with salt water, and then we got this uh, stuff called a regolite. Okay. This is the oregolite. And it's aragonite crushed coral with the finest laboratory grown bacteria already in it. So it makes your tank cycle a lot faster. As you can see, it's a wet pack. Okay. And it lasts for, I forget what the shelf life is, it's over a year. Oh, they give you a biomagnet clarifier. <laughs> what it is. But if you read the bag, millions of uh, water purifying bacteria per pound. Okay. I don't feel anything. <laughs> okay, reef sand best of use by March 2011. Okay, so it has more than a year unless they just got it last week. In which case, maybe this is only a year. Shooting water back in. 